When buying a modern digital camera, one of the most important specs is what is the megapixels? This is usually easy to work out. Camera brands will shout from the rooftops about how many megapixels their new camera is. But before modern sensors with megapixel counts, it was a lot more difficult to work out. And it wasn't down to what camera and lens you used. So today we're diving into the fascinating question that many photographers have asked. How many megapixels is 35 mil film? And I'm gonna start right now. Now this is somewhat of a controversial question and there's many possible answers. Film is an analog medium, so it doesn't necessarily have pixels like a modern digital camera. Although if you scan film with a film scanner, it will have pixels and a specific resolution. Now this is going to be a little bit more complicated than simply film is better or digital is better. Digital cameras for the last decade range in resolution from 12 megapixels upwards to 50 megapixels. But on the film side, it really depends on the quality of film, the quality of lens, and even lighting conditions. So to answer this, we need to understand how film captures images versus how digital sensors do. Film captures images through a chemical reaction on its surface, creating a continuous tonal image. Digital sensors, on the other hand, use millions of tiny pixels to form an image. Each pixel is either capturing red, green, or blue light. So how can we convert a quality 35 mil frame into megapixels? While it's not an exact science, the very short answer is it's around 20 million quality pixels in a top notch 35 mil shot. This shot is using a tripod with the top rate lens, the finest grain film and shooting in the best lighting conditions. This estimate comes from analyzing the details and grain structure within film, and then directly comparing it to the pixel density of a digital sensor. In practical terms, a high quality 35 mil film can resolve fine details similar to a 20 to 24 megapixel digital image. It's important to note though, one big key difference between digital and film photos, and it's all to do with color. Film is an analog medium, so it doesn't just record 256 grayscales or the corresponding 16 million colors. All parts of the film is capturing all color, meaning you're getting around 24 bits of data for every equivalent pixel within film. In today's digital cameras, you're only getting around eight to 12 bits of data for each pixel. This is because each pixel is only capturing either red, green or blue light. So in most modern sensors, you actually need four pixels to capture the equivalent color resolution than film can offer. The most common sensor type in modern digital cameras is called a Bayer filter. This filter contains two green, one blue and one red pixel. Now that doesn't mean that 35 mil film is three times better at capturing color as a modern digital sensor. Brightness information is much more important than color information. And when it comes down to color, color information is a lot more subjective. And with modern post-processing softwares like Photoshop and Lightroom, it has really closed that gap. But even without post-processing, film isn't even close to being three times better than digital. So although modern digital cameras might have a higher resolution compared to 35 mil film, film contains a lot more color resolution and some might argue even more dynamic range thanks to the chemical reaction on its surface and how it turns that information into color and also brightness. So as you can see, trying to work out the megapixel resolution of film is a lot more complicated. There is a lot more factors that you need to take into consideration to work out the effective resolution. So while 35 mil film might be the equivalent of around 20 to 24 megapixels, it's not just about the number, it's about the experience and the unique qualities film can offer.
Thanks for watching and hopefully you found this video helpful. I was actually really interested to work out the difference between digital and film. Now obviously we've just talked about 35 mil film today, which is the equivalent of a full frame sensor. But don't forget there's a whole variety of different film sizes out there, like medium format and large formats. So if you want me to make a video about that, make sure to write it down in the comments below. I've been James for Photo Fever and I'll catch you guys next time.